While the Ukrainian military continues its terrorist attacks against civilians violating international conventions, the so-called political West, which supports the war crimes of the Kiev regime, have been divided as some states remembered their own interests. The armed forces of Ukraine continue strikes at the Kokovskaya hydroelectric power plant in the Kyrgyzstan region. In total, about 40 missiles from the US-made HIMARS MLRS were reportedly recorded on August 22nd. Most of them were intercepted. Due to regular attacks by Ukrainian forces, three of the six turbines of the plant were stopped. The facility operates in pre-emergency mode. Violations of the power generation and water discharge systems may disrupt the cooling of the reactors of the Saporozhye nuclear power plant and lead to a catastrophe. Shelling of the civilian populations of the DPR and LPR continues, including from weapons supplied by European countries and the US. Ukrainians are killing people in the cities they consider to be Ukrainian, and which they are allegedly trying to liberate from Russian invaders. Over the past day, the DPR reported 40 firing cases from Ukraine. Two civilians were killed in Gorlovka. Four more civilians were wounded. On the morning of August 23rd, Ukrainian Nazis continued to mine peaceful settlements in the DPR with PFM-1 mines. Using the Hurricane MLRS, Ukrainians scattered mines on the streets of the village of Oiglinka. Kiev has been actively using such mines since 2014, violating several international conventions. Ukraine violates its obligations under the Ottawa Convention, according to which it was supposed to destroy stocks of PFM-1 and a number of other anti-personnel mines, but Kiev has not yet done so. The use of the PFM-1 mines without a self-destruct violates Protocol 2 of the Geneva Convention. The remote placement of mines in a settlement with a civilian population can be considered a use of indiscriminate weapons. This directly violates the terms of the 4th Geneva Convention on the Protection of Civilians. Meanwhile, some European partners can no longer support the insatiable demands of the Kiev regime. The German Bundeswehr claimed that it could no longer supply weapons and military equipment to Ukraine from its own reserves. This was said by the German Defense Ministry in a response to a joint statement by three deputies who called for increasing supplies even to the detriment of the German army. The Bundeswehr will try to find another way out. The EU and NATO fear a possible collapse of the consensus on the issue of support for Ukraine due to the energy crisis, rising food prices, and the prospects of an economic recession, CNN reported, citing European officials and representatives of the alliance. According to a European diplomat, the EU is in a difficult situation. At the same time, it still has to stick to its promise to cut off Russia from any income from gas and other sources.